Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian and it's Halloween y'all. Happy Halloween. Today we're going to learn Bakasana, which is the first arm balance that we've ever done in our Foundations of Yoga series. So we're going to learn crow together. It's, uh, you know, it's great for the arms, but really it is a core strengthener. And I think it's just a great opportunity to throw yourself off balance and have a little fun. So hop on the mat and let's learn Bakasana. Okay, so to prepare for our crow pose today, we're actually gonna start flat on our backs. So this will only take a second. Listen up, this will only take a second. That's a Tommy Boy reference for all you Tommy Boy fans. Okay, hug your knees into your chest. Feel the lower back become flush with the mat. You can even take this opportunity to massage the back a little bit, crawl the shoulder blades in together and down. And then I'm gonna bring the two arches of the feet together and widen the knees. Great, so I'm gonna imagine myself, we kind of know what the pose is supposed to look like. So I'm going to flip it here and use the support of the earth. So I'm going to lift my tailbone up towards the sky, and as I do that, my navel, my lower belly, becomes instantly engaged. So for lack of better words, my core, my center is engaging. So scoop the tailbone, draw the navel, navel down. Aha, find that sensation, or begin to find that sensation. Know that, you know, this is, this is a practice, this is a journey, so we can kind of approach it with that state of mind, that frame of mind, and it kind of takes the edge off, like the pressure. Okay, so navel's drawing down, tailbone scooping up, knees are wide. I'm gonna press my palms towards the ceiling as if I were pressing into the earth. I'm going to keep um, space, rather maintain space between my ears and shoulders. And then I'm going to draw it in and all together. And what I mean by that is I'm going to draw my knees up closer towards my elbows and the base of my hands closer towards my toes. Now, wherever they meet, which will be different for everyone here, I'm going to squeeze. So wherever they meet, whether it's all the way up here or right at the elbows, I'm just going to practice a little give and take between the arms and the legs. Hard work here, so I'm squeezing the legs in towards the arms and I'm pressing the arms out towards the legs. So I have a little bit of friction here. My core is engaged, tailbone scooping up. Last part here, I'm gonna point the toes. Breathe, neck is nice and long. And then I'll gently release, rotate the wrist one way, then the other and then cross the ankles, grab the outer edges of the feet, can do a little full body smile here, rock a little side to side. And then we're gonna rock it up, flip our burgers, and practice crow. Okay, so if you have a yoga block, grab it now. And if you don't have a yoga block, you might consider using a book, which we say all the time, and so I'm actually gonna use the book today to prove to you that it is just as great. So this is a nice little way to get into the posture, but it's not necessary. If you don't have a book or a block, then we can still build the pose right now. I'm gonna use it as a little bit of a perch here. So I'm gonna bring my toes onto the block or the book, and I'm using my fingertips to stabilize here. Then I'm gonna recreate the shape I did on my back, bring the inner arches of the feet together, widen the knees, breathe, and then I'm gonna plant my palms really spreading the fingertips, finding that integrity here as I draw the shoulders away from the ears and draw the navel up towards the spine. Okay, so there's gonna be a couple different stages to this posture and we're going to approach them all with just a fun loving attitude and no toxic thoughts, okay? Again, remember we don't come to the mat to do yoga but to practice, to have an experience. So I'm gonna draw my navel up towards my spine and then I'm gonna walk a little bit forward on my perch and then keeping the neck nice and long, I'm just gonna see where the knees meet, okay? So I'm not lifting the toes up or anything, I'm just seeing where they meet. I'm finding integrity here, soft bend in the elbows. Most important thing is I'm gonna keep this extension in the neck and send my gaze forward. 
Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, come back onto your perch, relax. You can tent the palms here, come onto the fingertips. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale. Here we go again, planting the palms. So shoulder width apart here. Lots of space between each finger. The integrity here in the palms is so important because I'm not collapsing into my bones, but like we've been doing in a lot of the foundations of yoga uh, that are on, on the ground anyway, we're finding that upward current of energy, that, that hasta bandha, as we call it. Here we go again, drawing the navel up towards the spine, keeping the neck nice and long. This time, maybe I find that my knees can come a little bit higher up on the arms, maybe up towards the armpit chest area. The neck is nice and long, guys. I can't stress how important it is to keep your gaze forward because otherwise, you might do a little somersault forward. And if that happens, no worries, shake it off. Now this time we breathe and we might lift one toe up. And then exhale, release. And then the other toe, just experiment. And then exhale, release. Take a rest, you can even uh, Check in with the wrist the opposite direction if you need to, if you're still building strength in that upward current. And let's try again, breathing. Finding that integrity as we draw the navel up, walking. We're crawling the knees up towards the armpit chest, keeping that nice hollow upper back. Navel draws up as I look forward, and this time maybe we lift both toes up. Breathe. And then exhale, release. Maybe you got up, maybe you didn't. Let's see if we can remove the perch and just experiment without it. Or if you don't have the perch, then we'll join you. It is kind of nice because it gives you that little extra space. Let's just see, okay. Coming into our squat, knees nice and wide. Spreading the palms and just play, here we go. Finding what feels good. Okay, so don't hold your breath like me. <laughs> Make sure that when you're um, kind of playing with that suspension there that you're not suspending your breath. Okay, we want to keep the breath flowing. We're going to take a quick break here by coming to Downward Facing Dog. And then just practicing a couple hurdles in between. Drawing the navel up towards the spine. I like to do this as a crow prep because it keeps this integrity in my center and my core while I also spread the shoulder blades left to right. So I send it back and forward, drawing the navel up. I'm never sinking into my bones here, but always keeping that pressing up and out of the palms um, activity going. One more time. And then we'll come back to the knees. Take a second, uh, if you're new to the practice or your wrists are screaming at you right now, um, that's okay, in time we'll build strength or maybe you've overworked your wrists in another workout already this week. So make sure anytime you need to do a couple circles or just check in with the wrists that you do. Okay, and let's give it one more time together. And then again, remember it's a practice. It's fun to check in with it each day and I think you'll be really surprised how fast it evolves and changes and grows and informs you. So here we go. Either on your perch or starting in a squat. Spread the palms wide, press up and out first. Remember that sensation we just had in our hurdles, so I'm drawing the navel up, and from there, I'll head on in. Okay, so that was Bakasana, our first arm balance in the foundation series. Full body strengthener, I feel like even more than just spouting off kind of the anatomical and physical benefits of this posture, I wanna say that it's an opportunity to, again, throw yourself off balance and have a little fun. It is nice to you know, know where to put our bones, but um, just trust yourself, have a little fun, work with integrity, don't forget about your center and this line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Um, but maybe on this Halloween, we can all approach something that's a little scary, 
with a little lightheartedness and a little fun-loving attitude. Rawr. So that's all I got to say about that. Have a happy and safe Halloween, my friends. And uh, I'll see you next time. Leave questions or comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join us on Facebook and on Twitter. And I will see you next time. Ooh.